All I hear about is Prismacolors not being light fast. So I want to show you one of my Prismacolor portraits. As you can see, I did it in 1988. Now, I framed this myself with non-glare glass that I got at just a basic glass store. And the biggest problem I see with it, so it's been framed, since I framed it myself, I sealed it up back in 1988. And I can see that underneath the glass on the inside is the glass itself got streaky dirty. That's, that's what you're seeing is a streaky dirt from inside on the inside of the glass where it's not touching because it's double matted so it's not touching it's there's an air pocket there i used the prismacolor pencil on canson board which has a lovely texture i always loved using textures i used to use matte regular matte boards for textures for, for paper to to color pencil this was canson board and it was all done with Prismacolors back in 1988. It's been on exhibit quite a bit but over the years. It's had, I sealed it up myself. So it's been framed and sealed for many years. And I just wanted to share why I love Prismacolor pencils.